So it's Saturday, January 23rd. We've been in the car for almost an hour. Um, where we're going to pick up Odin is about an hour and 45 minutes out from where we live in Minnetonka. Um, I'm not going to disclose the name of the breeder or the name of her company because she's really private. She doesn't even have her own website direct. Um, we had to go through another site but about another hour to get there and I'm excited to see the puppy. Alright, we got Odin in the car. He's got his little Kong car seat and it latches right to the seat and just in case we have a little pee pad in there. As you can see, his tail's wagging away so he's Excited, nervous, but there he is. Hi, Odin. <gasps> look, look forward. <gasps> Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go home. We're going for a ride. Oh, yeah, you can explore. Yeah. He was scared of the car seat. He wanted to be by me. So Odin's finally settling down. He's constantly wagging his tail and wanting to always be by somebody. It's really hard to just like plop him in the bed and for him to like have one chill second. Um, but I just wanted to mention, so people always ask, and this is what um, somebody also asked us that had a puppy at Peko. It's like, what's your COVID secret for being able to secure a puppy? And you honestly have to scour every single site, be in constant communication, always checking, and just be open to other choices. You might not get your first color, may be a little sooner than you're ready for, or you might have to wait a little bit longer. But puppies are so hard to come by right now during this time with everybody at home, having more time to take care of their puppies. So best words of advice is just to be patient and have open arms to any puppy that comes your way.
we haven't been putting a collar on him, but we wanted to do a photo shoot with his little, we got a little tie with a cute bone, and then this bow tie, and they just have a little um, bungee cord so it can just like slide right on the collar. It was hard to get a video with him squirming because you kind of basically have to constantly set him down for four or five seconds and then resituate and then put him back, let him rest, resituate, put him back down. Um, so not the easiest thing to get a new puppy to know how to sit for a picture. Kind of like a baby if they're not sleeping. All right, come here. Come here, Tito Man. Oh, oh, he doesn't wanna. No, what are you eating? Come here. No, ew, no, no, ew. Ew, no, ew. Ooh. It's deer poop, okay. All right, so this is Odin. Ah. Can you say hi? No. Ooh, Can you say hello to the camera? Can you say hi. hello? Today. Oh. All right, so Odin wasn't cooperating to be in this video. Now he is officially five months. He was born in the end of November and now it is May 1st. So I'm gonna go through a little list of his likes and dislikes and they seem to be pretty in line with the rest of the cabbie community. So it's been a long five months because he had worms so just getting his a dog schedule down typically can be a lot easier but with him with worms it was just uncontrollable of when he had to go to the bathroom or getting up at two or three in the morning um, but that's finally getting regulated with a probiotic and different items from the vet so that's good now but it definitely too changes the puppy's mood because they obviously aren't feeling well when they have all that indigestion issues but aside from that he's been super loving he loves every single person possible any age gender um, if they seem excited to see him or not excited to see him, he doesn't care. He will jump up and try and give you puppy kisses immediately, which is so amazing and it's so true. They say that with Cavaliers, if you had a burglar come over to your house, they would kiss the burglar. So they definitely are not much of a watchdog. And then as for toys, he loves rope toys, tug of war toys. Um, he hasn't really liked any hard toys or rubbery ones and with that too he's been teething and he lost a few teeth so some of his um, toys did get a little bloody so we had to give him some softer ones so he recently got this new little banana toy from Target and he's loving that one but just as other cavies he loves the rope toys the most. As for food preferences, he loves chicken and chicken treats. We tried to give him some beef treats and he just kind of like eats them, puts them in his mouth a little and then he'll just spit them out. Um, I guess if he's really hungry or bored he'll eat one but beef is not one of his favorites. I've also heard that cabbies like duck so we haven't tried that yet um, but once the chicken treats are out we'll give duck a try. He does not like bacon. We got him those like bacon bones. Doesn't even want to try those. His favorite bone is the elk antler and it has that like venison inside of the antler that's more squishier than the bone part so he loves those but they do make him a little crazy especially if he can't physically hold it or pick it up he'll get a little frustrated and start barking everywhere and that's another thing too that he doesn't bark very often even if he's with somebody that he's not vibing with he won't bark at all um, even if he's scared of like a big garbage truck or anything, he won't bark. He'll just kind of shake. So that's really, really nice. The only time he'll bark is when he's just like frustrated with a toy. Another thing is he is starting to go on walks more now. And I thought it was so weird when I saw a video that somebody said they were first taking their Cavalier 
on a walk after four months and I was like, because I've, I've never had a puppy before, that that would be like dog abuse. Like why wouldn't you let your dog go outside? But it's so true that with the puppy, they just don't have the stamina and they don't necessarily want or like know what a walk is. Um, but with that, even with him having more of walks and kind of tuckering him out more, he still has towards the end of the night these like zoomies, we call it, where he just like zooms around and around and around the house in circles and he just has to get his energy out and he's trying to chase you or really go ham at his toys. Um, so don't know how long those will persist, but those are his bursts of energy but we don't let him off leash outside to like run around just because and um, we don't have a fenced in area and then two he does love cars because people are in cars and he loves people and even though we yell danger and hold him back he still wants to go with the cars so just not the time to let him go because um, he'd obviously get hit by a car. So for his dislikes, he loves being warm and super cozy. So that means when he goes outside, he starts to shake. So he'll wear like two sweaters sometimes, a jacket. If it's raining, he'll kind of go as fast as he can. And if it's super cold out, he'll try to do his business outside, but he does get really distracted. Um, by anybody or anything outside then he I think he kind of just forgets that he had to go to the bathroom or why he's outside in the first place he's like oh a person oh but he actually doesn't really care for like squirrels or anything it's more so if he sees a person or anything related to humans outside it will distract him but he loves being warm and cozy and then for another dislike is he doesn't like being alone and that too with covid just being working from home he hasn't really had that full separation between his time and people leaving to go to work time um so even if somebody leaves for like a few seconds he will start lunging himself at the door and it's just kind of we'll slowly just have to get him alone for longer periods of time so he gets used to the fact that people do come and go but they do come back but that's just a totally new concept to him and just with the Cavaliers being such a loving breed I think it's even harder for them with that separation anxiety. And then I also just wanted to touch on the Cavi community. There are so many Facebook groups for Cavalier King Charles lovers or groups in your area. Um, so I definitely would recommend reaching out over Facebook. And then they have group gatherings. Odin cannot come yet because he hasn't been fixed and that's typically a rule for the big gatherings, I guess, just so no accidents could happen. Um, but I definitely recommend even just through YouTube too, finding other Cavalier members. Um, Odin is also on Instagram where we've been meeting a bunch of other Cavies even across the world. And we got like a message in French that we didn't know what it meant. So he is at Oberon O-C-K-C-S. Um, so go and give him a follow. I'll pop it up and below. And then for all you extreme Cavalier King Charles lovers out there, there's super cute merch online like this one off Etsy, Cavalier King Charles Mom, a um, bunch of other things. So I'll link some of the favorites that I found below as well as some cute designer dupe doggy harnesses, sweaters, leashes so your doggy could have like a Gucci inspired, Fendi inspired, Louis Vuitton, Dior, etc. Cute little sweaters. I've been hesitant to buy one yet for Odin just because he is still growing, but once he becomes a year old, I think I'll invest in one of those designer sweaters for him. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear any of your Cavi stories. Comment below, and or if you have a channel or a Instagram for your dog too, we'd love to keep in touch. Can you say hello, Odin? Can you say good morning? He always looks so worried. Odin, can you say hello? Can you see hello?